okay, I use an NIV. You know, I can get, I've seen people get saved. I got saved from the NIV. I didn't, but nonetheless, I'm saying people say that, and it's true. Uh, and you're telling me that my Bible's no good? That's what I've been reading. Well, it's wonderful that you've been reading the Bible. It's wonderful that you've been thinking about the things of God. Wouldn't you like to know that what you have is what God actually said? Because if we have promises, and the Bible does have lots of promises, wouldn't it be nice to know that those were actually what God promised? Wouldn't it be nice to know that's what God said he would do? For instance, God said he'd preserve his words. Jesus himself said in three different places, even in your NIV, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But the words are in my, aren't the words in my Bible? My no, NIV? No, they're mostly there. And of course, okay. a lot of things are mostly there, but I can change an entire argument by changing yes to no. I mean, all, it doesn't take a lot of changes well, to make something true. no longer true. And the thing is, when you start taking away words that have to do with the deity of Christ, the fact that Jesus Christ is God, or the Godhead, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, being one God. Take away words about salvation by grace through faith and make it about works and effort. Or we change away and take away words about heaven, about hell, about angels, about devils, about holiness, and we pull that down, then we pretty soon don't have the same gospel. Hmm. We have a very flexible Bible. We can come up with all sorts of alternate doctrines using that, but it's not God's words.